Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Blade Break. You were supposed to do it this time. Um, it's okay. We'll power, we'll power through. Uh, so this is another episode in the Lexi Gauntlet Blade Break series. I think we can probably call it a series. I don't think we did in any of the other videos. Spoiler: This is the the fifth game. I don't know. Um, could be, but it could also be the first game. Who's to say? say? Welcome to the first game. Welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the here and now. I am going to be playing Lexi, the eponymous Lexi of the series title, uh, and I'm That's going the to name of the movie. They said the name of the movie. Uh, I'm going to be uh, with my trusty Voltaire as my bow, along with a New Horizon, a Fiendel's Spring Tunic. Bullseye Bracers and Perch Grapplers on my feetsies. Those are some good looking feetsies you got well, they're, there. They're completely covered by these Perch Grapplers, so. Good looking grapplers. <laughs> and I am playing Viscerai this round, uh, the Rune Blade Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a mid rangey version, not an OTK version, so I have chosen the Nebula Blade as my weapon of choice. Uh, and then I do have Crown of Dichotomy, uh, the Blood Sheath Skeleta, Grasp of the Ark Knight, and some uh, not quite blue uh, Sutcliffe's Suede sh Shides. Hide sh Shides. <laughs> shides. Uh, those yeah, are, those are pretty pretty cool. Yeah, um, they, they're, they're all right. And yeah, I will be going first. Okay. So good luck and have a time. Um, Thank. I am going to kick things off by activating Voltaire. That's not true. I'm going to start things off by remembering to put a counter on my spring tunic. That's one. That's that's one. It's the only one I get for this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm going to activate this Voltaire to put this Buzzbolt into my arsenal. Uh, I'm going to pitch this yellow Buzzbolt in order to pay for that. And then I'm going to use my floating resource to attack you with this Buzzbolt, fusing it with this Weave Lightning uh, for five. And because it was fused, whenever an attack hits a hero this turn, it deals one damage to them. It is a red Buzzbolt. All right. Uh, well, I would like to be on the defensive right off the hop here, I guess. Uh, I'm going to block for five. Oh, that's reasonable. That's very reasonable, actually. Thanks. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to follow that up with anything. I think I'm just going to arsenal this card and draw some other ones. Okay. I will also draw some other ones. Alrighty. I'm not doing anything too uh, crazy this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to uh, activate my Grasp of the Arknight to make a rune chant uh, by pitching this blue Oath of the Ark Knight. Uh, and then I'm going to arsenal this card and pass. Okay. All right. I'm going to start by remembering Spring Tunic. That's two. Never That's forget. crazy. <laughs> I don't think you've ever remembered. I know. Isn't that nuts? Uh, I'm going to start off by flipping up Weave Lightning with Lexi. Uh, because it is a lightning card, my next attack will gain go again. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to activate Voltaire, pitching this other blue Weave Lightning uh, to, whoop, to put this Buzzbolt into my arsenal face up. I'm going to give it plus one attack, mm -hmm. and then I am going to attack you with this Buzzbolt. It does have go again and plus one attack, but it does not. it is not being fused. Okay. Um, so it is for one. Sorry, for six. For six. I'm attacking, I'm attacking you for one. Oh, take one. <laughs> no, it is for uh, s five if it hits you, six. Right. Uh, I will throw these in front of it, uh, defending for four, but no cards from my hand. Okay, so you will take one becomes two, or one, and then it deals an additional one to you because it's specifically this one that triggers, so it's for two total. You did not fuse it. It is just attacking for six, right? Oh, right. So it's for, yeah, you take another, you take I two. I take two. Way. Yeah. Either we way. figured it out. <laughs> I'm, we figured it out. Um, <laughs> I'm going to activate my Voltaire again to put this Bolton shot into my arsenal face up. I mm -hmm. will give it plus one attack and I will attack you for five with go again. And if it hits, I reload. Uh, I will take five. Okay. Uh, I will reload. I'll put this card into my arsenal. Uh, I might as well cast this Weave Lightning. Uh, next Lightning or Elemental action gets plus one. If it's fused, it gains go again. Notably, that does break the chain. <gasps> the Voltaire did not because it was a it's an instant. Uh, instant yeah, no, you but are correct. That one does. You are These correct. We'll get a, a temper counter and a battle worn counter. Mm -hmm. I will attack you for five uh, with this snapshot. I will block for one. <laughs> got him. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, take four. Mm -hmm. Yikes, I'm at nine. Yes. Uh, I will draw some cards. All right. 
so obviously I got pretty greedy there, blocked with uh, nothing from my hand, but it's because I've got a, a neat little turn here, I think. It sounds like you probably have a good one. Um, so I'm going to start it with this Mordred Tide uh -oh. from my... Uh, Command zone. What's this called? Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> the crossover. <laughs> uh, then, uh, so sorry, until end of turn, if I would create a rune chant, instead I create that many plus one. Oh. Then Double I'm going to play a Mordred Tide. That will trigger Viscerai from the first Mordred Tide, so I will make two more rune chants. Yes. Uh, for a total of three. Yeah. And then uh, this turn, until end of turn, I will make that many plus two. Plus two. Uh, these are then going to go away, because mm. uh, that's how that works. And then, uh, oh, well, wouldn't you know it, I've got three, so this rune flash is for free. Uh, that is for four with go again, and uh, it will create two more rune chants, and I'm going to try to shoot you with three rune chants. So, Doesn't it create three? Because you create one off of Viscerai for casting a rune blade card, and then yes. plus two from the Mordred Tides. Yeah. That is correct. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Anytime, man. Anytime. Um, as if you're very, if you're actually all that thankful, can you take your attack back and not attack me instead? Nope. Damn. I tried. Um. God, does he try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pitch this Heaven's Claws to pay into Arcane Barrier one three times. Mm -hmm. And I will block, uh, your Rune Flash with my Perch Grapplers for two. Okay, please take two. I will take two. Okay. Uh, it's in my pitch zone. Getting getting a little kooky, a little crazy here Please again, stop. or still, Please or stop. whatever. Oh, no. uh, I'm going to break my blood sheath Skeleta here. Uh, so the next attack action and non-attack action cost uh, one less to play for each rune chant I control. Mm -hmm. uh, that is going to be followed up with a dread triptych that will cost three less. Uh, that's going to break three rune chants, make three more from... Viscerize ability because of the Mordred Tide. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I attack with it, I have played a non-attack, so I would create another one, but it'll be actually be three more. Uh, I have not dealt any arcane damage, mm -hmm. but if it hits, it will create another three. You have no more action points after this, but you can. You have one card in hand? I have one card in hand. So if I it's a, could, in theory, yeah. give a target attack action, go again. Yeah, so because I have played a non attack. If turn. it's a blue, then you can activate Suede Hide's attack with Nebula Blade for four plus a lot. Uh, four plus nine. I think I have to take that chance, though. I'll take seven. Takes the seven. Uh, that means Dread Triptych hits, which means it makes three more. Unfortunately, it oh, yeah. is not a blue. Mm -hmm. So that will be the end of my turn. Okay. I will Arsenal this card. Okay. Uh, I have to try to do some pretty decent damage here, so I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to activate my Bullseye Bracers uh, to put a an arrow from my hand into my Arsenal face up. It will be this yellow Frazzle, uh, and it has plus one attack until end of turn. Okay. I'm going to cast this Pulse of Volt, Volt Haven to give my next Lightning, Ice, or Elemental attack this turn plus four. Uh, this tunic did tick up to three, but I'm ah. going to cash it in to attack you with this Frazzle for nine. Uh, and I will nine. Lightning Fuse it. So it if it hits, it is for ten. Ten. If it hits, it does an extra damage. Yes. But it, it has nine attack. Yes. Yep. I will defend... Five. Do you have any attack reactions? No. I will reduce to rune chant. Uh, it is a yellow one. Uh, okay. So it will make a rune chant, and the total being blocked right now is eight. Okay. Uh, so you will take two. Yes, I take one and then one. Yeah, it deals that much plus one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to arsenal this last card in my hand and draw up. All right. Last remaining card in my hand is a pretty good one. It is a red Amplify the Arc Knight that will crack these 10 rune chants and come at you for six. So I don't have Arcane Barrier currently because I broke my gloves. You did. So I will gloves. take 10 from the rune chants. I like that. I will then block the Amplify the Arc Knight for six. I don't like that. That's too bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is my turn. Okay. Okay, I will draw four. I'm gonna put another counter on Spring Tunic. That's I don't think that's ever happened. Before. Rebuilding. <laughs> I'm gonna start this turn off 
with this three of a kind. I'm Yo. pitching this red Bolton shot to draw three cards. I can only play from my arsenal this turn. Yes, sir. Let's make it count, folks. I'm going to activate uh, the ability of Lexi to turn a face down card in my arsenal face up. It will be this lightning surge. Uh, so my next attack will gain go again. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to activate Voltaire to put uh, an arrow from my arsenal face up, or put an arrow from my hand face up into my arsenal. It will be this headshot, and I'm going to give it plus one until end of turn. Uh, I will activate that by pitching this yellow lighted up, and then I'm going to use my resource floating to attack you with this headshot for seven with go again. Seven with go again? Yes. That's very scary. I am going to uh, just defend three. Defend three? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you'll so, take four. Yeah, take four down to three. Uh, I will attack you with this lightning surge for my arsenal. It also has go again, and it is for four. All right. I will uh, declare no defense. Do you have any attack reactions? I do have to pitch this uh, red spellblade assault because I don't currently have any rune chance mm -hmm. uh, to be able to play this yellow reduced rune chant. Uh, in, as a defense reaction, it will make a rune chant, which is the, a very important part of this because mm -hmm. you no longer have arcane barrier. Mm -hmm. um, but it is defending for three. Okay. I will take one. I'm going to arsenal this last card in my hand. Oh. And I'll draw. All right. And very luckily, I was able to keep uh, a card in my hand to pitch to attack you with this nebula blade <sighs> popping this rune chant. Psych! <laughs> a good game. I, I can't yeah. stop the one. I could block this with any of the cards in my hand, but that yeah. does not matter because I still take one and die. Yeah, um, that turn was really crazy, though, with the, the popping there. You attacked for, uh, yeah, what, still, like nine or think, something? Yeah, I think it was nine, and then it was a total of ten. Uh, unfortunately, the last card that I drew off of that three of a kind was another three of a kind. Otherwise, I could have maybe chained into another attack. Yeah, wasn't quite, wasn't quite good enough. Almost. Yeah. I should have realistically. I think this would have been a game where I would side in an additional piece of arcane barrier. I would have probably still kept the perch grapplers, but I might have swapped out the tunic for a heart of ice. Um, it doesn't really affect you all that much. The activated ability doesn't do much, but at least it is another source of arcane barrier. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Because I feel like, personally, I really like this card in Lexi. Uh, I think that just being able to continue to chain stuff, even though it has the, the downside of you can't use your second arsenal zone technically while um, with Bullseye Bracers. But right. It does have arcane barrier one, which was relevant for... Almost the whole game. <laughs> yeah, a, a very large portion of the game. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, uh, that was a good showing from Viscerai for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, so I my opening hand had one of the Mordred Tides, and then after blocking, <laughs> I drew the second one. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. And Being so I was like, build up to ten. Yeah. So I was like, this <laughs> is so weird. Um, so that that was the turn that I didn't do anything because the other cards in my hand were like. Uh, I think it was like a Mavrian Skies or something and an Oath of the Arknight. So I just made the one and arsenaled one of the Mordred Tides. And then I drew into, obviously, two attacks. And that was that was good. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of things that turn. Boy, howdy, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, like you were saying, too, if I had had a blue in my hand as well, I could have given the Dread Trip to go again and attacked with this, and that would have been... Ooh. Yeah, that would have been insane. Would have been <laughs> a lot of damage that turn. Yeah, because it would have been four plus... Uh, 10 or 9 or something. I think it was um, 9. Yeah. yeah. So it would have been an extra 13. <laughs> Suede hides. <laughs> Suede hides. Suede hides. Those new shoes. <laughs> Those? Are these? Are these new shoes? Just anyway. new boot goofing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you uh, once again for tuning in to uh, this fantastic episode of Blade Break. But yeah, thank you for joining us once again. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.